Hi there, my name is Dora Marie Nesbitt and I want to thank you for watching my video. I come to you today with another um, tutorial, a quick tutorial and a quick tip rather. If you are promoting anything online and you are using Facebook ads to promote that product online, I want to show you how you can ethically and legitimately steal your competitors' customers. So let's say, for example, you are in the weight loss niche or um, let's say you are promoting, let's go with the weight loss niche. So say you are in the weight loss niche and you are promoting a weight loss product. Who do you advertise that product to on Facebook? So we're dealing with Facebook ads. Now, Facebook has this very useful tool called audience insights if you want the link for audience insights simply google facebook audience insights okay so you will be googling facebook audience insights and uh, i don't want that and what you are going to add is you are going to get information on facebook's users and facebook has a massive amount of data on its users so this is the audience insights uh, um, platform and here you can see it shows you the demographics of your audience um, shows them the age and gender so how many women and men like a particular um, brand or a particular product or a particular page we also have like page likes so how many people like a particular page or are likely to like any other page that you can think about so for example here there's the tasty website 25.1 million people like tasty so if you do advertise to this interest then you have the option of reaching those 25.1 million people so this is the actual audience and this is um, the Facebook audience and it shows the relevant score um, the pages that are most likely to be relevant to your audience based on page size and the number of people in the audience who already like that page now one um, thing that I like about the audience in science is it also allows me to find um a, it, it also allows me to find pages or interests which are like the ones that i am looking for so if for example i'm looking for a particular interest on weight loss then it's going to show me a list of other interests that my audience might be interested in so it makes it a lot easier for me and then i can go and actually target those interests now how are you going to steal your competitors customers Basically, you are simply going to advertise your product to your competitors' customers. So if you think of any weight loss product, what I do always recommend is you go to this website. This is how you would usually start. You, this is how you would usually start searching for, um, for interests to search on Facebook. I usually go to this magazine website. It's called JustMediaKits.com. And the reason why I go to this magazine website is because when you think about those passionate people who are interested in a particular product, they are more likely to purchase a magazine. And if they are more likely to purchase a magazine, it means that they are passionate and they are buyers. So if you think about something, if would you subscribe to a magazine that you that you do not love, that you do not want more information on. I mean, you can always get that information from off the internet for free, but when you go a step further and you actually buy into a subscription, it tells me that you are very passionate and you are likely to pull out your credit card if you uh, were to see an item in relation to that product. So this is where I go to. I go to people who are um, subscribers of magazines or they usually buy magazines and um, I go to all magazines so it's just mediakids.com then I go to all magazines and then I what I am going to look for is weight loss so we have health and fitness um, I am going to go into uh, let's say health and wellness okay so I am going to see if these magazines are act these magazine names are actually featured on Facebook so let's start with amazing wellness and I'm doing this one by one 
So what I'll do is I'll go to Audience Insights. I leave everything is as is, and all I'm going to do is just go to the interests. So I'm checking Amazing Wellness, and I'm going to see if that magazine has a page on Facebook. Okay, it doesn't seem to have a page on Facebook, so I'll go to the next one, Better Nutrition. Okay, right, so we have the magazine here. Right, so what I'm looking for is I'm looking for any page that is based on um, on nutrition or weight loss. So let's see if we can find anything that matters. I usually like to, to look for um, people like this. I'm not sure whether this person is into weight loss, but let's just check and see what the page is about. So you can actually click on the link and see what that page is about. In the meantime, I'm going to check to see if there are any other people that I can look for. And you really want to get into those very niched interests. So you don't want the interest being too large. Usually the smaller interests are those who are more passionate because they are not liked by many people. So the smaller audience are those who are terribly passionate about a particular um, a particular page. Okay, so Dr. Axe Food is Medicine, it tells me that he is into food and nutrition, but I'm actually looking for someone who is uh, into weight loss. Well, I can see that he also sells nutritional products as well. Okay, so he sells nutritional products as well. So this tells me that people of this page buy his products. So there could be some buyers in here. Okay, so yeah, I, I think I can target this one, um, Dr. Josh Ash, Ax, sorry. So this is my competitor because he's, he's obviously promoting products to his audience. And what you can do is in your Facebook ads, you can search for his name as an interest and you can tell Facebook that you want to show your ads to the people who likes Dr. Josh Ash. So that is pretty much how you steal your competitors' customers because the people who liked this page, when Facebook shows them your ads, they have, they have the potential to buy from you. And you can see that he also sells his own products as well. So we know that some of his, his uh, people who like his page um, may have purchased products in, in the past, so they are likely to be buyers. Um, so that is how you search Facebook for people who are in your industry and your competitors. And when you are doing your Facebook ads, you simply tell Facebook to send your ads to people who liked that page. Okay, so that is how you will steal your competitors' um, customers. I'll just do one more just so you can get the, the hang of it. Um... Let's go with get active because I'm also looking for people who are into exercise, especially if they are um, especially if they are one for losing weight. You know, you, you when you get active you lose weight. So let's see if there's the magazine for this one. Nope, doesn't look so. Okay, let's try another one. Um, health monitor. Mm. Let's actually go back to health and fitness. What I'm looking for is, I think, women's fitness. Um, a 
Okay, let's go for fitness RX for women. Okay, right. So let's see what kind of audiences this is. Up here, we see that it's an audience size of 300 to 350k, which is good. That's a small enough audience, which tells me that the people who like this page are very passionate about that magazine. Um, what I would do is I'm going to look for any person, public figure, who is highly likely, um, whose audience is highly likely to like that public figure. So I see Emily Sky here. Let's see what she's into. Right, so I said she is a model. Okay, and uh, yep, she looks like she's into fitness as well. Yep, definitely. But I'm looking at her her page and 10 million people like this. So she may not be the best one to advertise to because her, her um, that page is so large that the people here may not be very passionate. But you can see that they are very active. Um I mean, we could see, let's just see if she is an interest on Facebook. Okay, so she's a public figure. And then what you would see is when you go into these other interests, Facebook gives you additional interests that you can target. So you want to avoid these ones because these ones are so well known. You want to go for the ones which are hardly known. Okay, so I'm looking for the out of ordinary ones. And what I'm seeing is this Kayla design. So, so let's see what this looks like. Okay, yep, she's definitely into fitness. So this is one and her audience size, still 12 million, still quite big, but it's one that, you know, we can look and, and ask Facebook to send your product to show your product to these people. So what I would do is I would make a note of her name. Um, again, you want to find people who are not that well known. I don't really know this person. But she is an interest on Facebook, so I would definitely want to try and get my product in front of their customers or their the people who like their page. So I just wanted to give you an example of what you can do if you want, if you're struggling to advertise your product. This is how you can use fit audience insights to find interests that you can target. So you can, when you're doing your Facebook ads, you can ask Facebook to send your ad and show your ad to the people who like these particular pages. These people are your competitors, um, and that is how you can ethically and legally steal your competitors' customers. I hope you understand what I have said, and I hope this video has been useful. I'll try to make it very short for you. Um, thank you very much for watching my video. I try to provide daily tips and strategies that you can use in your own online marketing journey so you get the best results. If you like this video and if you want more tips to help you in your online marketing journey, please do subscribe. Um, reach out to me. I will put my contact details below where you can connect with me on Facebook. Um, and I will see you in the next video.